This is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes and having players from all over the globe take part, players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening. While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside control. Hello and welcome to Online Smart. Launch the game on the big screen is a must. And we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, and get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. 
We have it set at 30 seconds. Note, the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time, as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen, you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network? Or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby and get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. 
Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below eight seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. And a short while later, the one on the right has answered correctly also, but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended, or as we like to call it, first letter. In the open-ended, we can see on this occasion, it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen, you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network? Or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby and get ready to enter your game pin. 
If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly and a short while later the one on the right has answered correctly also but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended or as we like to call it first letter. In the open-ended we can see on this occasion it's a picture question but rather than spelling the whole answer all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry if you didn't take it all in. I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great and we love hosting online quizzes and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening. While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing.
Okay, so very good evening to you guys. Welcome back to part two of tonight's quiz. Good to have you back with us. Uh, there are still teams joining as we speak. So from last night's um, mishap, should we say, with the Kahoot servers, they weren't able to cope with this many teams or something like that. We're here to uh, finish off the last 30 questions with you tonight. No breaks, just 30 multiple choice questions back to back. And then we're going to tot up the scores from last night with tonight. So hopefully you have taken note and kept the same team name, making it easier for us to add both teams together. So um, we're hoping that's what you did. We're going to give it another minute or so. I think there's a few more teams. We're not going to have as many uh, on the second night. That's, that's probably normal enough uh, some teams were saying look they were so far behind what's the point or they had better things to be doing we on the youtube uh, live chat as well tonight if there's any issues we shouldn't have they're all multiple choice questions and they work best we have sent uh, a message to the company kahoot to see what we're going to do about those first letter questions i kind of like those because they mean that you have to know the answer there's no guessing like you could do on a multiple choice so we hope we get that sorted for next week uh, reminding you, of course, we have a Thursday night quiz. It's open to everybody and anybody. Uh, we're going to be sending newsletters out to everybody anyway. You're welcome to unsubscribe from those if you're not going to uh, be interested in any future quizzes. But these are fun. There is talk of having a Sunday night uh, general knowledge quiz as well. That's in the pipeline. We have themed quizzes coming down the line as well. We have superheroes. We have Simpsons. And my wife is currently working on a Dirty Dancing quiz. So that could be kind of cool. That'll be out in the next week or two, folks. More uh, more about that very soon. Make sure you have hit subscribe on the YouTube channel and hit the bell for notifications. We'll keep you in the loop about the future quizzes. Uh, we have prizes for the top few teams. I'm going to be sending the report to the organizers. Uh, they will make contact then with the winners. We have the email addresses, hopefully of all teams now if you are new to the app and you have selected your age for under 16 we won't have your email address do get in contact with either myself or one of the organizers uh, so in future quizzes then if you want to delete the app entirely launch it again and make sure that your age is over 18 we don't get uh, we don't collect email addresses for people under the age of 16 i believe so 253 plus teams joining up here now. We're about ready to begin. I'm sure we'll have some more join in as the evening wears on. This shouldn't take too long, folks. 30 questions, all multiple choice. Uh, we'll head that way so now. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Best of luck, folks. Hope you enjoy it. All multiple choice. Here's the first one. How many bags full of wool does Baba Black Sheep have in the nursery rhyme? Two, three, four, or five? Lock in those answers before you get to the last eight seconds on the countdown. Quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Thank you. 
219 correct answers. Five teams said there was two. Two bags. So you're missing one, folks. Here's the top five. Your score is bottom right-hand corner of the app. Question two. England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales can be seen from which island's highest point? Isle of Wight, Isle of Man or Sky? So England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales can be seen from which island's highest point? The Isle of Wight, the Isle of Man or Sky? So again, if you're experiencing lag, do stop the YouTube stream and start it again. It's the best thing you can do for it. 140 correct answers. Get those answers in, folks. Isle of Man is correct. Okay, we're moving on then. Question three, multiple choice. Because of the resemblance to a singer, Formula One racing driver Nico Rosberg has what nickname? Is it Brittany, Katie, or Adele? Lock in those answers. Nice and early, folks. Because of the resemblance to a singer, Formula One racing driver, Nico Rosberg, has what nickname? Brittany, Katie, Adele. Correct answer here, it is Brittany. Brittany is the correct answer. Aaron has a dancer streak of three in a row. Buckley is in the lead. Here's multiple choice. Which of these is the title of a number one hit single by Timberland? Is it The Way We Was, The Way I Are, or The Way You Is? So which of these is the title of a number one hit single by Timberland? The Way We Was, The Way I Are, The Way You Is. And 14 correct answers. It is the way I are, is the correct answer. Okay, that's the top five at the moment. Long ways to go, folks, so stay with us. Here is the next question What bird appears on the logo of the Hollister fashion brand? Is it a peacock, a seagull, or a vulture? Seventy nine correct answers with Siegel. Okay, question six. This is true or false? Stephen Fry directed the two thousand and five mo uh, movie Nanny McPhee. A true or be false? So again, if anybody is Chromecasting, that will definitely add more lag time to you guys. Use another device, a phone, an iPad or something. Chromecast is dreadful for lag. 157 correct answers with false. Question seven, again, true or false? In terms of land area, Florida is larger than England. Is that true or false? So again, if you're using Chromecast, not good. Hundred eighty three correct answers with true. True is correct. Six players just dropped their answer streak of six here. Multiple choice. The island of Lanzarote is located in which body of water? Indian Ocean, the South Sea, China, Mediterranean Sea, or Atlantic Sea?
240 teams locked in an answer. Atlantic Ocean is correct answer. Marshmallows, second place, multiple choice. Where in the world is Botany Bay, is it? The Galapagos Islands, India, Jamaica, Australia. Two hundred and seventeen correct answers with Australia. Multiple choice. The black swan is native to which country? India, Mexico, Brazil, Australia. So the black swan is native to which country? India, Mexico, Brazil, Australia. Okay, 81 correct answers with Australia. New leaders, Jar Collins two. The insiders in second. Here's question 11. In which country is the Mojave Desert? Is it USA, Mexico, Tunisia, Australia? So in which country is the Mojave Desert? USA, Mexico, Tunisia, Australia. Lock in those answers as quick as you can for the fastest answers get the most points hundred fourteen correct answers with the USA correct answer CD Tutty is back but the answer is trigger three here's multiple choice question 12 on an Xbox 360 controller, there are four letter buttons, but which one of these is not on it? X, Z, Y, and B. Correct answer, it is the Z. 158 correct answers. Mangler's highest climber. Multiple choice. Which Spice Girl sang the first line of the hit song Wannabe? Was it the Ginger Spice, Posh Spice, Scary Spice, or Baby Spice? So which of them sang the first line of their hit single Wannabe? Ginger, Posh, Scary, or Baby? Okay, correct answer here, it is Scary Spice, 102 correct answers. The Insiders in the lead, Enemy in second, Robin's Nest third, Goosebumps, who were in the lead yesterday, and then Benjo. Familiar names? Here's question 14. In 2014, the success of the film, film Paddington was credited with the rise in sales of what foodstuff? Eggs, honey, marmalade, bacon. So in 2014, the success of the film, film Paddington was credited with the rise in sales of what foodstuff? Is it eggs, honey, marmalade or bacon? Two forty four locked in, Paddington Bear lays his marmalade sandwiches, doesn't he? New leaders, enemies in the first place, goosebumps in seconds. Multiple choice. 
Which of these phrases means clumsy? Beef thumbed, ham fisted, pork fingered, or bacon wristed? Fifty nine correct answers. Ham vested is correct. Is Higgins family back with an ancestry of three? Halfway there, multiple choice. Which of these creatures spends most of its time hanging upside down from the branches of a tree? Is it the sloth, porcupine, armadillo, badger? Correct answer, it is a sloth. 224 correct answers. Number seven is back in the game, three in a row. According to Eileen Barton's 1950 song, if I knew you were coming, I'd have what? Painted my face, locked the door, cleaned the house, or baked a cake. So according to an Eileen Barton's 1950 songs, if I knew you were coming, I'd have what? Painted my face, locked the door, cleaned the house, Baked a cake. Hundred eighty two, it is baked a cake is the correct answer. No change in the top five on that one. Question eighteen. Which city hosted its very first Formula One race in June 2016? Is it Baku, Moscow, Dubai, Madrid? Correct answer, Baku, 104 correct answers. Third place, Robin's Nest, not one of the teams that answered it correctly. Not to worry, here's question 19. What fruit is known as the love apple? Apple, orange, tomato, I'd say that last one's supposed to be banana. So which one do you think is the love apple? Is it apple, orange, tomato, banana? Correct answer, it is tomato anyway. It's uh, 205 teams answering correctly. The Burns has moved into third place with this one. Multiple choice. Which pop group had a UK number one single with Tragedy and You Win Again? Hot Chocolate, Steps, Bee Gees, Banana Rama. Not know what that banana is there. So which pop group had a UK number one single with Tragedy and You Win Again? Hot Chocolate, Steps, Bee Gees, Bananarama. Okay, 141 correct answers. It is the Bee Gees. Eight players reached an answer streak of three. Multiple choice. Which of these is the title of a 2014 number one single by the former X Factor contestant, Ella Henderson? Is it Sir? Ghost, Phantom?
175 correct answers with Ghost. Well done. Mick Joe Doyle is making a comeback three in a row. Here's question 22. Which part of the henna plant is used as a hair dye? Flower, the root, the leaf, or the bark? So which part of the henna plant is used as a hair dye? Is it the flower, the root, leaf, or bark? Correct answer, it is the leaf, in fact. Okay, that's made some changes. The gunner has gone into third place. Here's question 23. Which of these is an official vote to discover the likely result of an election? Is it the oats poll, straw poll, hay poll, or barley poll? Okay, correct answer it is a straw pole. That's the correct answer. Lacking to fourth. Here's question 24. In the oil production industry, what is used as the standard measure? Tank, litre, gallon, barrel. So in the oil production industry, what is used as the standard measure? Is it tank, litre, gallon or barrel? Hundred eighty six correct answers. The second most popular was gallon. It is barrel is the correct way to measure it. Multiple choice. Which sport has featured in the nineteen eighty nine film Fields of Dreams? Is it American football, basketball, volleyball, or baseball? So which sport was featured in the nineteen eighty nine film Fields of Dreams? American football, basketball, volleyball, baseball. Hundred and seventy seven correct answers with baseball. Tied at the top with just a few more questions left to go. Uh, Daniel Powder had a big hit in two thousand and five with which of these songs? Is it Oh Happy Days, Bad Day, Have a Nice Day, or Beautiful Day? Thirty-five. It is bad day is the correct answer. The second most popular was oh happy days. Okay, question twenty-seven. Harp and harbor are types of which mammal? Walrus, seal, otter, beaver. Correct answer, it is seal. 182 of you answered it correctly. Well done. No change in the top five, the last three questions. What color is the cross on the Finnish flag? Is it 
Blue, red, yellow, white. One hundred and sixty-eight correct answers with blue. Loo. Blue, well done. Eighteen pairs. Answer streak of three. Second last question. To which member of the family does the word fraternal refer? Is it father, mother, sister, or brother? Fraternal. Ninety-three correct answers. It is brother. Top five answering it correctly. This is the final question. Tag is a popular form of what sport? Is it darts, billiards, cricket, wrestling? Two hundred and sixteen correct answers with wrestling as the correct answer. Right, let's get the results from just tonight's quiz. Uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to tot up the scores from last night with tonight's. I'm going to give you the top ten anyway. We're going to put the results from both nights up on our Facebook page. That again is John O'Connor, smartphone quiz host. Head over there in about uh, twenty minutes or so. We should have the results for you then. Uh, again, thank you so much to Abbeyside and Malinacorti for booking us. Uh, apologies for the glitch last night on the servers. We are working hard to make sure this runs smoothly. And if you come back to us again very soon, I'm sure we'll have ironed out all of those. Enemies there in uh, first place. Uh, Goosebump, they were up there as well. So I'm sure it'll be one of those two who are the actual overall winners. I'll confirm that very soon with you. And I want to say thank you so much to the organizers for booking us here uh, over the weekend. Thank you so much for putting some trust in us. We'd hope to uh, entertain you again soon. As I said, we have weekly quizzes here. We have your email addresses. We're going to send you all a newsletter. Uh, we're happy for you to unsubscribe from that. If you don't want that, no problems at all, guys. From Irish Entertainment, my name is John O'Connor. Thank you so much for playing tonight. I uh, will see you for the next one very soon, okay? Do take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.